So guess what? I have heat damage to my hair. And I was wondering for a while why my hair wasn't to its natural full thick texture, its volume. Um, I lost uh, um, some of its volume and I was just kind of like saddened and that kind of happened I think from um, overly straightening my hair. Um, not me personally, but going to hairdressers who didn't know what to do with my hair and overly uh, straightening my hair without putting the proper moisturizers and what not to it. So um, basically, um, <sighs> I spoke with my mom uh, uh, just recently and she's like, why don't you just try uh, shea butter or whatever? It should um, replace the moisture and get your hair back to its full thickness. So um, the other day she just applied like before she applied the shade of butter to my hair, my hair hasn't been growing as uh, uh, it normally has and also like the, the texture of my hair is different and it's more wiry and thinner and so that I think that just basically happened because of the heat damage to my hair. So I think I'm going to take a break from straightening my hair um, with blow dryers or anything and just try to get my fullness and volume back. And so basically she applied some shea butter to my hair uh, last night and honestly my hair feels really like olive oil really I love olive oil but she also applied this shea butter to my hair and it makes it just really thick and full and um, I can just tell the difference like it's more like afro-y and fuller like just putting my hands on it and feeling like the texture of my hair, it feels like it's getting back to its old state. So I'm excited. Um, I'm gonna definitely try to use shea butter. I think uh, for my hair type, less is more. I don't need that much product. I don't think you need a lot of product like caking it on the scalp or caking it in the hair. It's just too much. It makes it too heavy. Um, maybe I think that would work for like deep conditioning. Um, I'm gonna try it as a deep conditioner and see how that works. Just uh, using shea butter and a different oil and mix it in together and use it as a deep conditioner because I could just literally tell the difference in my hair and how soft it is and how full it makes it, it makes it fuller. Um, so yeah, that's just my tidbit. Well, basically for four years, well for like basically four years, I hadn't, um, I hadn't straightened my hair ever. I would have it like blow drying out or whatever. Um, one of my hairstylists that I went to, she would blow dry it out to do twist and whatnot. But that was basically the extent to um, me straightening my hair. And um, basically, the second, the first time I got it straightened was I, I went to a non-natural hair care specialist who didn't really know anything about straightening natural hair, and the person ended up burning my scalp um, and changing the texture of my hair and that's why it's lost its volume and like I already have like a bit of a dandruff problem so that just made it even more flakier and I've just been kind of struggling over these last couple months so too much of anything is bad for you so I feel like too much straightening my hair and too much heat applied to um, your natural hair isn't good um, definitely a lesson learner for me. <laughs> so, uh, I think I'm gonna give it a try and like if I want to wear my hair straight or just in different hairstyles, apply some, um, some other hair to your hair, some weave or whatnot. Um, I am not against, um, changing it up. I'm very much so a proponent for changing it up just to keep the natural health of my hair. Um, so basically uh, shea butter is a thumbs up and heat is a thumbs down <laughs> for now. I don't think all heat is bad, I just think too much of it is um, not good for your hair so definitely uh, look out for if you're thinking about straightening your hair or you know um, trying to achieve a certain hairstyle consider uh, different ways or consider moisturizing your hair very well or just um, different things to keep the moisture and the health of your hair when um, applying other uh, things to your hair. Um, so yeah, that's definitely a, le uh, a lesson learner for me. So yeah, talk to you guys later.